Are you new to using KDE Plasma or are you looking for tips about KDE Plasma? This is the series for you. In this video, we're going to take a look at the settings in the Screen Edge menu. This is the first video in the new series, Configuring KDE. Configuring is of course spelt with a K because it's KDE and that's what you do in KDE. I wanted to take a moment, explain a few terms and give some perspective. If you're just interested in the tips, I'll have a timestamp in the description below. Plasma is the name of the desktop. KDE is the name of the company. Most people though say KDE and Plasma interchangeably. So I will probably do the same. At first I was going to focus in on Plasma, but as I thought about it, it made more sense to talk about the overall KDE ecosystem because there are many other things that end up touching Plasma and that includes stuff like KWIN, KRunner, Dolphin, many other apps that are in the KDE ecosystem. KDE uses the Qt graphics framework, which means it's going to be a little different than something like GNOME that uses the GTK framework. So let's take a look at the screen edges settings and I'll show you one setting in particular that really annoyed me for a long time. To get to the screen edges settings, all you need to do is hit your super key and type in screen edges in the search box. And there it is right there for me. So by default, this is probably what your settings will look like. This in the top corner right here, this would annoy me a lot because I would have a high DPI mouse and I would barely flick my mouse as I was going over to type something and I would end up in the corner up here. And when I did that, it would come up like this and I wouldn't be able to type like I wanted to. One thing I always did was I came in and I turned this off and so it no longer does that. You can choose other sections of the screen if you want to have it in the top right corner or the bottom right corner or the top bottom left, wherever, any of these, you can set any of these actions up. And so if I wanted the desktop grid to show up here, I could set that in the right and there we go. So I'm gonna turn that back off. Down below that, there is the maximize and tile options. What these do is when you drag a window to the very top of the screen, it'll maximize it. You'll see it kind of gets gray in the background there. And when you drag it to the left or the right, it'll let you tile the window to that half of the screen. The remain active when windows are full screen option here. This is so that if you have this window full screen and you had one of these corners active, you could turn this on to still be able to use that action. And just to show you really quick, if I go here to do this and hit apply, you'll notice it'll come up, or at least it should. Yeah, there we go. So now if I turn this off and I hit apply, if I go back up to the corner there, it doesn't, doesn't work anymore. The next option here is there are, instead of just making the window tile to the entire half of the screen, you can actually just do it to a quarter of the screen. And this next setting directly affects how much of the screen will have this effect. I personally find 25 is a little bit too much. There are times where it's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna turn it down to 10%. And you'll notice I really have to drag the window a lot further down. So if I go here right now, it's gonna be the entire right half. And now, I get to the bottom 10% of this or so of the screen and now it's just a quarter. So I have to go down a lot further than uh, before. If you change it to 49%, you only have a 1% area where you can actually make it full tiled to the right. Below this, we have switch desktop on edge. If you have that always enabled, what you can do is you can go over here to the right and you'll go to your next desktop or you'll go back to your other desktop if you move back to the left. If you change it to only when moving windows, now if I go over here to the right, I can't switch between desktops, but if I come up here and grab this window, I can move it then. I'm gonna disable that. And down below this, these are activation delays and reactivation delays. So what they do is this initial activation time, it's gonna activate any of these effects, I believe, after 100 milliseconds. It's not gonna reactivate them for another 1,050 milliseconds. This could be something that if you're, you know, you kind of occasionally go up in the corner or something and you may wanna not have it start right away, that could be something to use. Or uh, if some of these other effects are something where you don't want them to happen right away. Personally though, I think the max on the activation seems to be 1,000 milliseconds, which is just a second. And that goes by a lot quicker than you think sometimes. These are some nice settings for Plasma 5. 5.25. Are there any settings that you felt were missing in this menu or are there any other tricks that you think I should cover in this series? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.